Hi everyone! Welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about voltage divider rule. So what is voltage divider rule? So basically, voltage divider rule is a direct formula for finding the voltage drop across a resistor within a series resistor circuit. So if you are given series resistors connected across a single voltage source, so it can be either AC or DC voltage source, we can find the voltage drop across any resistor equivalent to the total voltage source multiplied by the fraction of that resistor to the total resistance of the circuit. So to illustrate that, let's say we have series resistors R1, R2, R3 until resistor R sub n, where n denotes the number of resistor to be considered when we find its voltage drop until, let's say, we have the final resistor R sub n, where R sub n is the last resistor that we have for the series resistor circuits. And then, I'll try to connect this series resistor across a single battery or DC voltage source, let's say, V sub t. And since we have a closed circuit, there will be a total current, let's call it I sub t, that will flow through this circuit. So by the way, I already have a previous video about series resistor circuits. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link on the description so you can check it also. Okay? So given this figure now, let's try to derive the voltage divider formula. So let's say we want to find the voltage drop across this resistor, R sub n. So let's try to name it as V sub n. Okay? So let's try to find first the total resistance of this circuit. So we know that the total resistance will be equal to the sum of all the resistances. So we have R sub t is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 plus R sub n plus dot 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 plus R sub n. Right? Since we already have the total resistance R sub t and the total voltage V sub t, we can find the total current I sub t using Ohm's law. So I sub t is equal to V sub t over R sub t. Or we have V sub t divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 plus Rn plus dot 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 plus R sub n. Okay? Now, if we try to consider the current that will flow through this resistor R sub n, let's call it I sub n, it will be equal to the total current I sub t, right? Since in a series resistor circuit, current is constant and it's equal to the total current, okay? So, if we try to find I sub n or the current through this resistor R sub n by using Ohm's law, we will have V sub n divided by R sub n. Right? But we know that I sub t is equivalent to this formula, which is V sub t over R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 plus Rn plus dot 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 plus R sub n. Okay? Since what we want to solve in this equation is V sub n, we can multiply both sides of the equation by R sub n. So therefore, on the left side, we have R sub n divided by r sub 1 plus r sub 2 plus r sub 3 plus dot 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 plus r sub n plus dot 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 plus r sub n multiplied by v sub t equal now on the right side cancelling r sub n we have v sub n so therefore we have derived the formula for voltage divider which is the voltage drop across any resistor r sub n is equal to v sub n equal to r sub n over the total resistance, which is equivalent to this expression, times the total voltage V sub D. So as you can see, we can find the voltage drop across any resistor R sub N as a fraction of the resistance of the resistor being considered multiplied by the total voltage source. Okay? So likewise, if you want to find the voltage drop across resistor R1, you can have V sub 1 is equal to R sub 1 over, let's say, the total resistance, which is also equivalent to this expression, multiplied by the total voltage source, V sub t. Okay? So to illustrate the concepts and formula for voltage divider rule, let's solve some examples. So we are given this series resistor circuit where R1 is equal to 2 ohms, R2 is equal to 4 ohms, 
and R3 is equal to 6 ohms, and our voltage source is equal to 12 volts. So let's try to find V1, V2, V3, or the voltage drop across each resistor. So using voltage divider formula, we have V1 equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 plus R3, or the total resistance of the series resistor circuit, multiplied by the voltage source V sub T, which is 12 volts. So substituting the values, we have V sub 1 is equal to R1 is 2 ohms, divided by R1, which is 2 ohms, plus R2, which is 4 ohms, plus R3, which is 6 ohms, multiplied by V sub T, which is 12 volts. So solving for V sub 1, we have 2 volts. Okay? Likewise, for V sub 2, we have R2, which is 4 ohms, divided by R1, which is 2 ohms, plus R2, which is 4 ohms, plus R3, which is 6 ohms, multiplied by Vt, which is 12 volts. So solving for V sub 2, we have 4 volts. Lastly, for V sub 3, we have resistance of R3, which is 6 ohms, divided by R1, which is 2 ohms, plus R2, which is 4 ohms, plus R3, which is 6 ohms, multiplied by V sub T, which is 12 volts. So, solving for V sub 3, it is equal to 6 volts. So, as you can see, if you try to add up the voltage drop across each resistor, so V1, which is 2 volt, V2, which is 4 volts, and V3, which is 6 volts, when you add them, it is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 or 12 volts, equivalent to the total voltage source. Okay? Next, we are given this circuit with R1 equal to 5 ohms, R2 equal to 25 ohms, R3 equals to 3 ohms, R4 equal to 15 ohms, and the voltage source is equal to 13 volts. So we need to find V sub 4 or the voltage drop across this resistor R4. So as you can see, we cannot find directly the voltage divider rule because we don't have series resistor circuits, right? What we have here is actually a series to parallel resistor circuit. Since we have this resistor R3 and R4 are connected in parallel, and their combined resistance, let's say R sub 3, 4, is now in series with R1 and R2. So what we can do here first is we try to combine the resistance of these parallel resistors, R3 and R4, so that we can have their single equivalent resistance, let's say R sub 3, 4. So if we try to compute their equivalent resistance R sub 3, 4, it is equivalent to the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocal of the resistance, right? So it is equal to 1 over 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. So substituting the values, we have 1 all over 1 over R3 is 3 ohms plus 1 over R4 is 1 over 15 ohms. So solving it manually or using calculator, it is equal to what? 2.5 ohms. Okay? So we can redraw now the circuit as series resistors R1 with value 5 ohms, resistor R2 with value 25 ohms, and the combined resistance of R3 and R4, R sub 3, 4 equal to 2.5 ohms. And we have the voltage source equal to 13 volts. So we can now compute the voltage drop across this resistor R3, 4 using voltage divider rule, right? So we have V sub 3, 4 is equal to R sub 3, 4 divided by R1 plus R sub 3, 4 plus R sub 2 times V sub D. So substituting the values, we have R sub 3, 4 is 2.5 ohms over R sub 1 is 5 ohms plus R sub 3, 4 is 2.5 ohms plus R sub 2 is 25 ohms multiplied by the voltage source V sub T, which is 13 volts. So computing V sub 3, 4, it is equal to what? 1 volt. Okay? Now, if we try to go back to the original circuit, we know that R sub 3 and R sub 4 are connected in parallel. So, if we try to redraw again, R3 and R4, so, R3 is equivalent to 3 ohms, and R4 is equivalent to 15 ohms. 
and we have computed the voltage drop across them which is V sub 3 4 so we can draw a DC voltage source V sub 3 4 equal to 1 volt so since we want to find the voltage drop across resistor R4 or V sub 4 since we are given two parallel resistors R3 and R4 connected across the DC voltage source V sub 3 4 which is 1 volt V sub 4 will also be equal to V sub 3 4 which is 1 volt. So therefore, the voltage drop across resistor R4 V sub 4 is equal to 1 volt. Okay? Okay, so that's it for this video, voltage divider rule. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.